Okay, guys, listen, I'm feeling some new energy coming on my YouTube site as of late. Maybe it's people from Zen Mommy's crew. Anyway, I thought I would do a couple videos just quickly recapping a couple of things. And I just wanted to talk to him more a little bit, okay? First of all, let's do this one on what happens when you die, okay? I don't care what kind of life you've lived, and I know this is going to rub people the wrong way. Humans do not like this, but I don't care what kind of life you've lived, good or bad, you're going to go out on the other side, and nothing bad is going to happen to you because of it. There is not somebody on the other side uh, with a notebook and a ledger that's going to say, okay, you did this many good things right and give you a gold star. And somebody else is going to say, oh, you did all these bad things and thump you on the head. It's just not going to happen, guys. Um, that whole good, bad thing is a vacillating thing to begin with. Uh, humans really cannot make up their mind what is good and what is bad. Uh, I will throw at you eggs, for instance. I am 48 years old. And over the course of my lifetime, I swear, no one can figure out whether chicken eggs are good for you or bad. Or if part of them are good for you and bad. They just change their mind all the time about what's good and what's bad. It depends upon what's in the air. So really, nobody on the other side, whenever you die, is going to be judging you. This isn't about getting gold stars. It isn't about doing a good job. It isn't about ascending. It is not about accumulating knowledge. It's not about any of this. You are a creative God who for whatever reason, long-term humans, recent star seed, whatever the reason, which is yours and yours alone, and it will be unique to you, have come to play this game, have this experience for your own specific reasons. Whatever role you decided to play, good guy or bad guy or somebody in between, or one that goes back and forth, that is simply a role. Just like a role in a movie, an uh, avatar in a game, or a, a role on a play. That's all it is. You're doing this for the experience of it. Now, in the process, many, many star seeds have come here for a purpose to give Gaia a helping hand. Does she have to have a hand? No. Can she do this on her own? Yes. Can anybody do anything on their own? Sure, they can. But just like um, I did a video helping G-Man and helping Zen Mommy and we all want to help each other, um, that's because we're all one. It's instinctual. We reach out to each other because it is a part of our makeup because underneath it all, we know that we're all one. But does anybody have to have help? No, they don't. They don't. And nobody's going to judge you when you die. I don't care if you commit suicide. I don't care if you're a certain religion. I don't care if you are a serial killer. I don't care. Throw it, whatever it is. Uh, that's just the way it is. Sorry. Now, I understand why the religions instituted those belief systems, because fear is a really good way of getting people in line so they don't do bad things. But the truth of the matter is, that no, there's no God separate from you that's on the other side that's going to judge you and send you somewhere. Okay? So, let's cut that one off right off the bat. So, any questions about sexual orientation, religion, good or bad behavior, nothing bad is going to happen to you when you go to the other side, when you die. Now, what happens to you when you die? Well, it depends upon what you're doing. If you want to come back and play this game, and this game is very much built on a very dramatic point, and it is, it is a certain layout which includes the ability for the gods that we are to come down here and play this game and forget who we are, the gods that we are. So we can have experiences as mere mortal men and women. That is the truth of the matter. You can come and play this game. Now, long-term humans have played it over and over and over. And more times you come back without going outside of the game, i.e. the tunnel that you see, you 
die and you go through the tunnel and you come back and you die. Go through the tunnel and come back. And you do that a thousand to a millions of times. <laughs> that was a new puppy. Please don't do that. Then you get better and better and better at it. Your amnesia gets more complete. And you get more completely... You can more completely experience the role of a mere human mortal. Okay? That's the point. If you don't want to play this game anymore and you're done, and there is a higher part of you that's always outside of the game, but if you don't want to play it anymore, or you just came for one time, or you just came for ten times, or whatever, then you can leave this game, and this game it includes everything that you know of as being real. This earth, all the dimensions, the multiverses, the universes, the solar systems, all the different levels that you could even dream of, all of that stuff that has to do with light, dark, uh, time and space, duality in any way, all of that is a part of this particular game. And it is just one game out of infinite games. So most of the time, most entities leave this, when they die, they leave this game, leave and go out and play another game. It's that simple. Okay, that's it. That's what happens when you die. All right? All right. That's it. I'll talk to you all later. Love you. Huge hugs. Bye now.